For this stem bite, I want to talk to you about barcodes. This is one of those things that keeps me up at night. What if we run out of barcodes? I mean, everything has a barcode on it. Barcode? 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 Even my bananas have barcodes. Barcode? Barcode? I even have a separate section on my keys devoted solely to barcodes. Surely, we must run out of barcodes at some point. We can actually figure out how many barcodes are possible by looking at a barcode up close. Now, a barcode consists of a series of black lines and spaces. Some of those black lines are really thick, some of them are really thin. The thin line represents like the smallest possible bit of information. In that thin line, you could either have a black line or a white line. It's kind of like a one or a zero, like binary code. Well, if I look at the approximate size of just one of those thin lines, I can kind of count up how many thin lines would be possible. Now, the thick lines are just two thin lines right next to each other. Let's take a look. A hundred thin lines could fit all the way across here. Now, if you think about that in terms of information, each one of those lines could be a one or a zero, like there's two possible pieces of information. If I want to figure out how many different barcodes you could make, there is a mathematical way to figure that out. There's two possibilities, a black line or a space. Um, so I would write the number two, and there's 100 spaces. So I would raise this to the power of 100. That means I would take two times two times two times two, a hundred times. If I type that into a calculator, I get 1.2 times 10 to the 30. That's an insane number. That'd be like 1,200 billion, billion, billion barcodes. That's why like every product in the universe can have its own unique barcode, because there's so many possible combinations. Even so, you might start to notice different kinds of barcodes appearing. Some of them are like QR codes, others are kind of two-dimensional like this. Instead of just using lines, this one uses actually kind of like square dots which greatly increases the number of possible unique codes that can be stored in this little spot. It's really incredible. And you thought barcodes were boring. Stand by.